Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 39 of chapter 8. Determine the smallest coefficient of a static friction at both A and B needed to hold a uniform 100 pound bar in equilibrium. Neglect the thickness of the bar. Take mu A equals mu B equals mu. So the question is asking for this coefficient of friction. Uh, so the first step is to draw a free body diagram. So if I draw the free body diagram here, I have the bar. I have the weight of the bar, which is 100 pounds. The total length of the bar is 3 feet plus 13, so it's 16. It's acting halfway, so it would be 8 feet from each side. At A, I have the normal force, and A, if I have the weight, this uh, the bar tends to slide. To the left so the friction force is resisting it so it would be to the right and then at point b i have the normal force the normal force is perpendicular to the surface so that would be here that would be nb and the friction force would be resisting that resisting the sliding so that would be f b i don't have the angle here theta but I have the dimension. If I have 5 feet and then 13 feet, this distance would be 12. So I'm dealing with 5, 12, 13 triangle. Well, for the case of MB, if I draw it bigger here, because it's perpendicular, so my triangle would be 12, 5, 13. So that would be MB. And then FB is along the same line. So FB is 12, 5, 13. I'm going to write summation of moment about point A. So I can find NB. That would be my only unknown. So I write summation of moment about point A equals 0. I have the force 100 pound. So the distance here would be the moment arm is creating a clockwise motion. There would be a negative moment. So the magnitude of the force is 100. And the moment arm would be this 8. If I multiply it by 12 over 13, I will get the horizontal component or the horizontal distance. And that would be the moment arm. Then I have MB which is perpendicular. So the perpendicular distance or the moment arm would be 13 feet. So one equation, one unknown, I can find MB. So I know one of the unknown values. Now I need to find the other unknowns. I have NB, I have I found MB, I need to find NA, FA, and I know there is a relation between the two, but I don't have the mu that is relating the two. So technically I have four unknowns, but I have a relation as well, so that would be three unknown. Now I'm going to write my other equilibrium equation. Summation of forces in X equals zero. I have FA which I can write mu s n a. I have f b, which I can write mu s n b. I found the value of m b and f b, the horizontal component would be 12 over 13. As well as m b, you will have a component in the opposite direction of x and 5 over 13 will give me the horizontal component. So I can replace mb, I already found mb, 56.8, here 56.8. I don't have na, I don't have mu s, so I can really solve this equation by itself. I need to resort to my other equilibrium equation, summation of forces 
in y. I have Na minus 100, that would be the weight. I have Mb, the vertical component would be 12, 13. And I have the magnitude of Mb. I have Fb, the vertical component would be 5 over 13 equal 0. Again, the value for Mb is 56.8. Pound the value for FB is mu NB or mu 56.8. So if I like look at these two equations, I have two unknown. The two unknowns are mu and NA. Two equation and two unknown, so I can find my unknown. 42.54 Newton. So that's the minimum friction force that we need to keep our member in equilibrium. Otherwise, the bar would slide if the friction force is less than this. And if the friction force is higher than this value, the bar would remain in equilibrium. 